Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the ways that you can be prepared for the online lessons. As you know, things have changed a lot since the beginning of this year, and the music lessons have shifted to online platforms. Online lessons can be quite hectic because of the in poor internet connections or inability to have uh, adequate communication between the teachers and the students. But fortunately, our teachers have found the ways that they can teach online lessons properly and successfully. And there are some things that you need to keep in mind and you need to do on your end to get the same experience. First, I want to talk about the things that you need to have in order to get that online classes going. First, you need to have a computer or an electronic tablet or some sort that is large enough for you to see. But I would personally recommend having a computer because it's more reliable. And I would also recommend having 24 inches or larger display. Then you need to also have a web camera or some kind of video capturing device so that your teachers can see what you're doing. Also, you need to have a good quality microphone so that teachers can hear you. And lastly, you need to have a Zoom account because all the lessons will be done through Zoom, which I will talk about more in detail. Open up Zoom and find settings from the Home tab. Here you can see various options, but we only need to see video and audio settings. Go to Video and make sure you selected the right device. If you like, you can change some settings here, but it's not necessary. Audio setting is the most important setting we have to adjust. Now, let's go to the audio settings. Notice the settings may look a little different among Mac, Windows, and iOS, but they all have the same options. Within audio settings, find suppress background noise. Set it to low so that your instrument sound doesn't get cut off by the filter. Also, go to the advanced settings and find show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. Make sure that is checked. When you enter the meeting, you will see enable original sound on the top left corner. Click it to enable. After setting up Zoom, let's find out how we can set up good camera angle. You can follow your teacher's guidelines, but well, here are some general things to get you prepared for the online lessons. It's a good start to place the camera near the eye level, next to the monitor. Try to set up an angle to show both your left and right hand on the instrument. Posture is important no matter what you're doing. As you see in the diagram, make sure your monitor is also aligned to your eye level so that you have a good posture. For my guitar students, I ask them to put their supporting leg on a footstool to raise the instrument. That way students won't slouch and hurt themselves. Playing the instrument without hurting yourself is one way to enjoy music lessons. Lastly, I want to talk about some of your responsibilities. Before each lesson, be prepared and have all the materials in front of you. For all my students, books, writing utensil, notebook or music paper, and metronome should be in front before they enter the Zoom sessions. Of course, your instrument should already be in tune and ready to go as well. If you're not sure where to locate metronome, find a free app in the App Store or use Google to use simple metronome function. Make sure you're in a quiet place so you can concentrate on the lessons and not be disrupted. During the lessons, you may encounter a problem with the internet connection. Then try rejoining the meeting. If somehow your internet is completely cut off during the lesson, let your teacher know what happened immediately. Find a way to communicate with your teacher on the first day. We are experiencing unusual time, but I believe we can quickly adapt to this new normal. I hope you have a wonderful experience with your teacher, and I hope you restore the beauty as you grow.